Now, the other takeaway from this is looking at the snowpack. So there was a profile done by the Avalanche Forecast Center, which they always do after avalanche accidents. We always dig in the snow and try to figure out what the cause or the root relationship was in the, in the snowpack that set this up. So in the profile, which looks a little something like this, it's a top to bottom graph of the depth of the snow and the, and the different layers and how they relate to each other by, by hardness and by grain type, what they're composed of. And what we see here is here's our weak layer. Can you guys see it in the graph? It's kind of this trapped, isolated little layer in the middle right there. And that's the weak spot in the snowpack that they were tracking. That's the note that they were giving in the forecast about the January 28th layer that was buried. Now that's not easy to do, and even just digging in the snow isn't gonna tell you that it's there, because it probably wasn't everywhere. It was probably something that was just specific to that piece of terrain, pretty isolated. So digging snow pits may or may not have helped them understand that this hazard existed, but reading the forecast gave them a clue. So they understood that that was going on, but they weren't finding any evidence that it was an issue. I don't know if the guard was down or, or what else was going on, but. At any rate, they entered this piece of terrain and it had a consequence and somebody got caught and somebody got killed. 